Isaiah Rivera's youthful looks have earned him the nickname Babyface. But his dunks, oh, they grown man. With a 46 inch vertical, Rivera is known for his creativity and his trademark 360 between the legs showstopper. Originally from Puerto Rico, before growing up in the USA, the 21 year old became addicted to dunking as a teenager. I was born in Puerto Rico. I lived there until I was like seven, eight years old. But I had two siblings that they have a genetic disease and the only place they could get treatment was in Utah. So we moved the whole family from Puerto Rico to Utah, spent my childhood in Utah and then moved to Florida to finish my high school. First time I dunked, I was 16 years old. It was on my outdoor hoop. I just woke up, not even brushed my teeth in my head, nothing. I just went straight outside and I just got the perfect jump, hit it and then got super hype. That's when the addiction just kicks in and you just want to keep doing it over and over and over again. The high flyer loves competing on the big stage of the FIBA 3X3 World Tour and is motivated by a fierce determination to keep improving his craft. From the beginning when I started dunking, like this was actually one of my big goals was to do a FIBA 3x3 dunk contest because I, I saw guys like Lee Peck and Smooth and all them doing it in the beginning. So I was just like, oh, I want to I wanna do that one day. Every day I wake up and I just ask myself, what can I do today to get better? Every day I'm in the gym, I lift really heavy three times a week. Two times a week I'm doing like circuits, so just stuff to get the blood flowing, get moving, a little warm up and that type of thing. And then I lower them every day as well. Dunkers have unworldly athleticism, but Rivera believes preparation is the key to being able to perform in the high stakes of a dunk contest. If you've prepared and if you've put in the work, then you have nothing to worry about in the competition. If you're mentally weak, if you get in your own head after you miss a dunk or two, and it's that third attempt, it's clutch, you got 10 seconds on the clock, that's when like mental strength really comes in. But if you put in the work in the gym, if you know you hit the dunks and you're consistent with them, like there's, not, there's nothing to worry about. You just go in and do, do what you do. For professional dunkers, showcasing their talents to the world via social media has changed the game for everybody. My strategy behind social media is basically, I use it as a journal, like a training journal in a way. That's how I started. When I was 16, I started posting dunks on Instagram and it was, oh, I did this and this dunk today. And this is how I felt. I'm hoping to do this tomorrow. Over time, I just kept progressing and like people really were able to relate to me with that. It's really important that dunkers are constantly showing that they're progressing, that they're constantly doing new dunks and pushing the envelope. The more followers you get, the more events you, you can do because those are the dunkers that people want, want to watch.